My $7 MacBook Pro runs like new for less than $100. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade yours as well. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tony. If this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. As I tease in the opener, I have a $7 MacBook Pro here that was running slowly. After spending less than $100 to upgrade it, it runs like a brand new computer. Bet you're wondering what I did to it? Well, simply I added a memory module, two memory modules, eight gigs of memory, as well as an SSD hard drive, which is a solid state drive. Now these were, this was $49.99 and this was $44.99, excuse me, at Best Buy, this was at Micro Center. Now you can get them wherever you choose, However, these were the best deals that I could get um, early enough and this was in my town and I was already ordering from Micro Center. So I went ahead and got their inland professional. In this video, I'm gonna show you kind of how to go through the step-by-step -step process of replacing all of this and then show you how it runs a little bit and then give you a conclusion. All right, guys, so why don't you bring it on in. I'm gonna start by showing you how to clone your hard drive. And then from there, we're gonna open up the computer and replace the actual physical parts in here and then put it back together and boot it back up and we're going to see how it does. You're going to be amazed by the results so stay tuned. Alright guys as you can see the Mac desktop here it's ready to give itself a clone but first I wanted to go ahead and open a Chrome window here just to show you kind of how long it takes to open that window um, with, with the old setup and exactly why I wanted to do the upgrade. All right, so you saw there, it took quite a while to just open a Chrome window, which is not great. And it's probably even saved in cache because it was running when I booted up the computer. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the application we need. So go ahead and download an application called Carbon Copy Cloner, and I'll link it in the description. This is not a paid post or anything like that. Just something that I found that I think is very useful. It works better than the built-in Mac one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the Carbon Copy Cloner. This is free for trial for up to 30 days. So it, it is full functionality in that 30 days. You just have to wait to um, have the trial countdown here. So it's the countdown. All right, so as we go into here, so basically this is really, really simple. So all you're gonna do is select your source and your destination. So as you can see, my destination is actually missing. Um, I already cloned my drive, so I will not be doing it. So, But basically you just select the drive that you want. And it'll be in an external enclosure. And I will link one of those down in the description down below so that you can find exactly what I used. I had one laying around, so I didn't actually have to buy it. But it is something that probably most people don't have laying around. All right, so once that's done, all you do then is you hit the clone button and it basically runs its course. And that, and when that's done, you can take apart your computer, which we'll jump to here in a second, and we will throw it um, back in there. And then I will come back here and I'll do the same speed test, open a Chrome, ta Chrome tab, excuse me, and show you just how much quicker it is and just how, how much snappier it is just when you do regular applications. All right, guys, we'll jump forward to the spot where we're gonna install it here, so stay tuned for that. Six hours later. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this here. So before we get started, I do want to point out that you are going to need a nice little electronic screwdriver kit just like this. Um, I only need the um, Phillips triple, triple aught and then a Torx T6 bit. That's all you need to complete this project. But one of these kits is really, really reasonable. And I will link one down in the description so you can have the exact same kit that I have. All right, so for the sake of this video, I did already remove the 10 screws on the outside here. The three on this side are actually longer, so keep that in mind. They won't fit any place else, but uh, just some food for thought. All right, so we just go ahead and take this cover off here. The first thing that I wanna do here is make sure that you unplug this battery here so that there is no power coming to the board and it doesn't cause any shorts or anything like that and just in the off chance that you accidentally touch something with your screwdriver. Believe me, I have done it before. I haven't ruined anything doing it. However, it is still kind of unnerving. All right, so the easiest aspect of this is gonna be replacing the memory. It is right here. It is super, super easy. All you do is pop it out, just like so here. And there we go. And then I have the Mac memory here. This is just regular DDR3 1066 two by four gig kit. 
And like I said, I will link that in the description so that you can find the similar product. Now, if you're looking to find what memory your computer has, you can go to crucial.com and I will link that down in the description as that will kind of tell you what, um, what fits in your computer and, and whatnot. So the hard drives are all gonna fit. So, all right, so basically to put this in, it is the reverse process of what we just did. There is a notch here and just make sure you line up the notch at the bottom, bottom slot here. And there you go. That is in like so. Tip this over and then put the top one in if I can get it to align correctly. All right, there we go. And it is snapped in there. It is sitting nice and snug. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together here so I can keep this nice and neat. All right, so the next process is gonna be swapping out the hard drive here. And this is what's gonna require your Torx bit. But first, we gotta take off the carrier here, the holder piece. So these are captive screws. These actually will not come out. So you can just pull this straight up like this, and it's just here. All right, so now this is really easy, and it just slides out like this. And then there is a connector on the end here. Make sure to pull that off because that stays in the computer. All right, so the next thing that you wanna notice are these gonna be these little standoffs here. And you're gonna to wanna to remove these. So as I mentioned, the Torx T6 bit, that's what this is gonna come in handy right here. These just come off like so. And we will swap these to the new hard drive here in a second. I'll just jump ahead to that as this is kind of boring anyway. One eternity later. All right, so as you can see, I have an Inland Professional SSD, 480 gigabyte drive that's been cloned using Carbon Copy Cloner. As you can see, I put in the standoffs here or the pegs, they screwed in just like they would on the other drive. So basically it's the inverse option of what we did previously. Just go ahead and plug this in like so. It plugs in there, if I can get it right in the correct. All right, so there we go. Just put this back together here. And I gotta swap out my bit. And we are essentially done here. That is really all it takes to upgrade the hard drive in this. And you're gonna see the performance difference and I think it is quite impressive. Plug the battery back in and we are set to put the case back together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these 10 screws back in here and then I'm gonna show you kind of some performance differences on, uh, based on Chrome and some of the other applications. Let's jump to that. 72 hours later. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead here and open up a Chrome window just like I did on the other version with the um, standard hard drive. So as we go ahead and open Chrome here, you can see it is open already and I think that took about two seconds or so. It is quite a bit faster and uh, really, really snappy. Even opening windows, if I go, um, let's go to Finder here and let's go to go and open up applications. It is crazy mu how much faster it is. It's just instantaneous. Um, I don't have Carbon Copy Cloner on here anymore, otherwise I would have gone ahead. Oh, actually I opened up Utilities. That is not what I wanted. So we'll, we'll go ahead and open up Carbon Copy Cloner here um, and show you how much faster that opens as well. I mean, that's that's almost instantaneous. I mean, you really you really can't even buy that kind of performance, um, you know, in this, in this price point. So I hope this was uh, valuable to you and I hope you really enjoy it and, and create this yourself. As you guys can see, the performance boost is quite impressive for only $100. This computer was towards the end of its life until I revived it with that $100 upgrade. So if you have one of these or you see one of these for sale on social media, do not hesitate to jump on them as they have plenty of life left if you just spend about 15 minutes upgrading the internals. All right guys, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, definitely hit that like button. If you love this video or you wanna see more content like it, remember to hit that subscribe button and then make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so you know when I post. All right guys, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.